I remember they, like last year, actually our first year of history, and I did not like it because they would just give us a textbook. When it comes to this year, it was more like, wow, we get documents. Like, I never seen that before, like a teacher give me documents. The Reading Like a Historian project turns the traditional history classroom on its head. Rather than focusing on the passive retention of names and dates, this approach invites students to become historical investigators using the skills of historians to answer questions about the past. Each class is organized around a legitimate historical question. Students explore these questions by going back to the sources, encountering the voices of historical actors in original documents. There's usually some kind of an intro lecture or you know, giving students the background information and setting the stage for what they might not know. And then typically it poses the question for the day. Um, is the question for the day was the New Deal a success? Is the question for the day was Lincoln a racist? Is the image of the happy 1950s housewife accurate? I want you to show me the evidence that leads you to believe that's your answer. Happy, look, this is the board. Like where? The document C. I never really done that before. Like getting the chance to agree and disagree with what we study, it helps you get deeper in what you're learning about. We have a crucial problem of literacy in our nation's urban schools. And the moment this approach goes into a school, what we automatically do is we double the amount of time that kids are exposed to text. I believe that their reading is improving at least as much as their ability to analyze documents. I think this constant knowing when you walk in the door, we are reading today and we are not just putting our eyes on the page and hoping that the bell rings before anybody asks us a question, but we're reading and then we're talking about it. 96% in document D a women married reported that they were either extremely happy or fairly happy. We have document A. What's the first thing we're going to do? Sword! Teachers trained in the approach were matched with teachers in regular history classrooms. At the end of the year, students were assessed on their historical thinking ability, their mastery of factual knowledge, and their growth in general reading comprehension. What we found was that not only did students in the treatment classes and the uh, reading like historian classes uh, do better on historical thinking and on the retention of historical facts, but also they grew in reading comprehension. So I know history like boom, boom, boom like this now, it's kind of easier. And like I know certain dates kind of weird and everything, but I know certain dates like better now. I was absolutely into nurturing them so that they would never be made to feel badly because they didn't have good reading skills and I took very good care of them and I didn't teach them how to read anything. Now that I see that there's a difference between making somebody feel better about themselves for no good reason and giving them the skills to be able to do better in their lives and be more powerful in their own lives, right? That's what I think this program has done for me as a teacher because I'm able to see them actually do so much better. I read more thoroughly and uh, more like detailed to certain parts. I look for certain things right away. Yeah, so far this is my favorite history class. Like, I really mean it. It's not boring, it's fun, I learned many things. I wish there was like an, an, a better, like for next year, for senior year, um, like a tip, uh, same history class, but we're learning more things. Because I feel like there's more to learn, a lot more.